problems. I just, you know what? They're just making it worse. Look at us and our feelings. We're just deep in the feels. Here. Deep, deep in the Blue feels. Blue feelings, if you can't Blue. tell. We did not plan this, but look at us. We are on another vibe, another level of vibe. That's how this happens. Vibe check! Uh, okay, <laughs> let's focus, shall we? That was to me and not to you. You don't need to focus, I need to focus. Come eat, thanks. Uh, this has been in the works for months, and it's finally here, and I'm so excited to share it with you. This is our first line of Nordic tin seafood. Fangs means catch. Uh, in those Scandinavian languages, this is distinctly Scandinavian. There is no olive oil. They're using cold-pressed rapeseed oil. There are sprats instead of sardines or anchovies. It is some of the most amazing waters in a place where there used to be hundreds of fisheries and canneries that have now been deduced to just a small handful. Uh, Fangst is here to help bring that culture and that craftsmanship back to do it sustainably and to do it with the kitchen in mind. So that whether you are going to snack with it and just eat them straight, maybe when you're hiking or camping in this hot, hot, hot heat, or if you're just preparing something nice and light and bright on a Wednesday when you don't want to turn on the oven, these are here for you and Man, are they delicious. So this one is smoked with chamomile and heather. It is, Francis said it best, it was almost acidic in like a fun ceviche way. There is no vinegar, but there is this really nice brightness to it. A little bit of acidity, but it is decadent and rich and satisfying and unique. It's not like anything else that we have, and we have quite a variety already, but this just helps to lengthen your options, and I'm so glad they're here. So, now you get to try them. What did there's you a, think? There's a marvelous range of herb, herbs in there as well. Chamomile and heather. Yeah, yeah, chamomile and heather, and so I suspect that maybe what gave it that tang was the plant extract, that sort of phenolic stuff from the plants, because the grape seed oil. Because they, these, these are unlike any sardine I've had, and I eat a fair amount of canned fish I have most of my life. And usually I opt for what's on the shelf over here, which is a Mediterranean style with olive oil and spice and what have you. This was a very unique, much fresher, brighter style, much, I hate to say, more, more fish-like, more sardine-like, but there was something a little more essential about it and a little sharper, thanks to the, those herb additions. And there I was, in my kitchen, screwing around with the bar cart and some ingredients that I'm very fond of. And I made a Vesper cocktail because I thought, well, what's going to go with Nordic? I mean, how, what kind of wine do the Nor Nordic countries drink? Well, uh, the answer is distilled spirits of some sort, some sort of vodka-like or, or, or grain-based, you know, distillate like gin. This is not repurposed garbage like most gin on the shelf. This is cooked from the grain up by my friends at Ransom Distillery. This is cooked from the grain up by my friends at Sugar House. And this is new to Utah. It's Coqui Americano. It's an aromatized and fortified beverage that's been made the same way since 1891, which is kind of cool. It finally got here, and the state in their infinite wisdom has sent it to exactly one store. It is listed, so go ask your friendly neighborhood merchant to bring it on and use it. Uh, anyway. We had feelings. Yeah, we did. We're, we got, <laughs> I'm a little rage this morning. I got up on the ragey side of the bed. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, the cocktail is called the Vesper. Uh, James Bond would call for three parts of this, one part of this, and a half portion of that. And you decide what portion sizes those are. Three parts, one part, and a half a part. And I actually had rosé with these that was awesome, but this was even better and a little more true to style, I think. Anyway, it's delicious, and I'm going to have a breakfast cocktail to make me a little less ragey. How about you, Blue? I mean, I'm going to eat all this fish, so uh, we love you a lot. We'll see you next oh, week. Oh, that's good. Happy snacking. He's better. We've done it. My blood pressure's coming down. I can feel it. The Vesper for the win. Have a great week.